Did you know that throughout Texas history, women have served alongside the members of the Texas military forces, providing medical, logistical, intelligence, and combat support to our armed forces? During the Texas Revolution and the Civil War, numerous women served Texas as spies, scouts, nurses, and cooks. And during World War I, Marjorie Stinson, at age 20, worked as a flight instructor in San Antonio where she trained approximately 100 cadets to fly in order to support the military operations going on in Europe. By 1924, just four years after women received the right to vote, and 32 years before women could officially join the Texas military forces, Miriam Ferguson was voted into office as the governor of Texas, the first female to ever hold the post. During World War II, the Army began enlisting and commissioning female soldiers, and by the time World War II was over, the National Guard wanted to do the same thing. On July 30, 1956, House Resolution 7290 was passed into public law. This allowed female officers to join the National Guard, receiving both state and federal recognition. In October of 1961, when the 49th Armored Division of the Texas National Guard was mobilized in support of the Berlin Crisis, 17 Guardswomen were also mobilized. They became the first women to ever be mobilized with the National Guard. On November 8, 1967, enlisted women were finally allowed to join the National Guard. Frances M. Arnold was one of these women. She enlisted in the Texas Air National Guard in 1969 as an administrative specialist. And because of her outstanding leadership ability, she became the first female senior enlisted advisor for the Texas Air Guard. During the 1970s and 1980s, more and more positions would become available for female soldiers, barring only those positions considered to be combat related. And by December 21st, 1991, Marcellite J. Harris, a native Texan, became the first African-American female to attain the rank of general in the United States Air Force. On July 14th, 2006, Joyce Stevens was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General making her the first female general officer in the Texas Army National Guard. On September 5, 2012, she had been promoted again to the rank of Major General and was assigned assistant to the Adjutant General of the Texas Military Forces, two more firsts for female soldiers in the Texas Army National Guard. In 2010, Colonel Tracy Norris deployed to a combat zone as the Chief of Staff to the 36th Infantry Division the first female in the Texas military forces to serve in this position for an infantry unit, leading the way for the Army. Texan women have been defending Texas since the early days of the revolution. We don't know what the future will hold for Texas, but one thing we do know is that when our state calls, women will be lining up to answer.